So this segment is dedicated to ragging on CNN. So first of all, Representative Nancy Mace um, decided to have some commentary about her time on being on CNN, where she was called a racist. But then a CNN commentator and author, according to her, Michael Dyson, allegedly begged Representative Mace for photos and was hitting on her. Okay. Even Dyson told Representative Mace, don't tell anybody we look good together and sent her a kissy emoji. So, look, no one should go through that. And again, folks, you know, I I have to say to CNN, this isn't the first time you guys look like idiots because the next video in question two, there will be another CNN reporter trying to gaslight a Trump supporter for owning a boat when all he's saying he's wants prices to go down. Because let's face it, folks, no matter where you stand economically, I think we all can agree we want prices to go down. But first, let's talk about what Representative Mace had to go through. And it's not right. It's not fair. So let's play this video. I would like to also enter into the record a screenshot of a text message I received from the uh, esteemed professor from Vanderbilt, Michael Eric Dyson, after my CNN interview, begged me for photos. In this text, he says, after calling me a uh, racist on CNN, Shh, don't tell anybody we look good together, and sent me a kissy emoji. Without then objection. The guy, the guy says, order. I'm gorgeous and all these photos. I don't think he's that bent out of shape on how anyone pronounces Kamala. Uh, and if we're going to have that standard, you got to hold it to both sides, not just one or the, one or the other. That's the history and legacy of white disregard for the humanity of black people. Oh, so now you're calling me racist. I didn't say, that, I just that, said that you weren't BS. a racist. That is complete no, You BS. don't have to intend racism no, to No, no, no. You are it. intending that Your I'm racist. Your disrespect of Kamala and Harris that is, is part and parcel of a tradition. What, 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 what can you just disrespect? It's offensive, Congresswoman. Why can't you just, I'm not calling disgusting. you a racist. I'm saying you are, what the you practice are, is You are, you are. You absolutely are. Let me get it. No, what's disgusting is your disrespect of her. Professor. This gentleman said, you know what? I didn't know her name. You know what's disgusting to women is her disrespect of women. She doesn't know what a woman is. And if 25 years ago, I women don't have the ability to tell black women who who paid the price of blood to make this country what it is to tell them they're not real women. 25 they years ago, for your baby 25 years ago, I became humanity. the first woman to graduate from the Citadel, the military. Oh, CNN, never change. I am I'm always looking forward to the day when when your entire organization goes under. Now, I'm in the next video I'm going to play right here is again, this is a CNN reporter. Now, look. I've known a few boat owners here and there. Some of them have to even sell their boats because let's face it, it's uh, it's, things ain't cheap anymore for everybody, right? But I don't like how this lady's gaslighting this guy. It seems to be CNN's operation now just to make anybody feel bad, and especially to this Trump supporter. I don't like it. I don't. I don't like it. What's your most important issue? The economy, getting the interest rates down, getting it where we can afford to live in America. Right now, it's it's too expensive. Okay, now let me maybe ask like a slightly impolite question. But that's not how you do journalism. That's not how you do interviews. You know, like, hey, let me ask you an impolite question. I mean, do you, do you want to lose the person you're talking to? Come come on, CNN. You're 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 a little bit better. Th well, no, I, I shouldn't say that. You're terrible. You're you're trash. HBO Max. What were you thinking? Added them to your portfolio. Who whoever did that has has Kendall. As Kendall energy, okay? You don't see the big picture and you're an effing moron. But, you know, if you can afford a boat, you're not hurting so bad, right? Because a boat costs a lot of money and it's a lot of upkeep. Listen, nobody gave me shit. I earned everything that I've got. I'm retired military, retired power plant, and I am successful and retired and with boats, jet skis, because I did it right. And everybody has that chance. Whether they choose or not, that's up to them. I would never try to take anything away from you, from you in that way. But what I'm asking is groceries are a, probably a smaller part of your budget than, say, you know, someone who's like a little worse off. I think it's interesting that people who are a little bit more comfortable are still so concerned about the economy. Did you see what I'm because saying? Because I want my money to go further. I want inflation to go down. I want interest rates to go back down. I want all that. But it, that, that covers everybody in the economy. 
not just me, not just the poor, not just the rich. It covers everybody. Now, something I've heard from some people, tell me if this applies to you, is like they're worried their kids aren't able to afford a house or a car. Well, I train my kids and taught my kids properly. They have great educations, and they're both successful in their careers. Actually, they're doing better than me. Now, look. Again, that guy, he's entitled to his opinion. He's entitled to his beliefs. But this is another sad example of CNN failing miserably. Failing miserably not only to uh, even really talk about the issues. Again, the number one issue that's affecting everybody in this country is the economy. It's it's the number one issue. There's, there's a lot of other things that are happening too, and I get it. Each thing is very important. But this this is this is a standard of operation how CNN operates, which is why they're not a serious organization, you know. And look, m maybe this is just me being petty here. Maybe this is me being a real mean person. But any time I get to insult CNN or its commentators or how it interviews regular people, I always want to remind you guys that CNN is the only news organization that had the audacity, the arrogance the pride, the smug attitude to try and talk down to people and say, hey, subscribe to our streaming service. I love this Coca-Cola classic video. Everybody knows by now that CNN's hitting rock bottom. Their ratings have hit record lows. Chris Cuomo was fired. Jeff Zucker forced out. Host Brian Stelter's days are numbered, reportedly, and we can see why. The show left. Now, this video is two years old, but I think if you've been watching Hard Lens Media from the beginning, you know where this is going. Last week, getting 56,000 viewers in the demo. Now, for context, I was going to name shows that rate higher than that, but we don't have time. I'd have to read you the entire TV guide. But when it rains, it pours. Not only has CNN lost viewers, they've lost what little respect they ever had. When CNN approached Republican candidate for Arizona governor, Carrie Lake, things didn't go well. Watch. Hi, Harry. Hi. Hi. Nice to see you. Can you, we walk and see that? you don't have a mask on anymore. Um, What's we're, going we're on? Outside. Do you have a wow. minute to well, chat? we're six feet apart. <laughs> Do you have a minute to chat? Um, I'll do an interview. Okay. As long as it airs on CNN Plus. <laughs> The look on her face because when this video dropped, CNN Plus was already gone. Thanos out of existence. Just 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 to look on it. But just hold on. You see right there? And hold on. See, there's Carrie Lakes asking this question. She's asking a question. And right here we slow and she hears a question. And right here. Boom. You captured a moment where, where her soul kind of dies. Ask on anymore. Um, What's we're, going we're outside. on? Do you have a wow. minute to well, chat? we're six feet apart. <laughs> Do you have a minute to chat? Um, I'll do an interview. Okay. As long as it airs on CNN Plus. Oh. <laughs> <Just> a... <laughs> Exist? Yeah. I didn't think so because the people don't like what you guys are peddling, so, which is propaganda. Thank do you. you. Do you... Oof. Oh. Now, this also calls into question the state of affairs of media in this country. Of how a major news corporation not only not only has had scandal after scandal, but has been an epic failure. Is it failing? Yeah, it is. But does CNN also talk down to and also contribute to the divide in this country? Yes, as a news organization or quote unquote corporate news organization, what it does is it systematically tells a narrative that keeps Americans divided. Someday CNN will implode. Someday CNN will be gone, forever removed. For some reason, they had the audacity that they'd be around for forever. Some reason, they thought that they would be this great bastion of truth tellers. All what we've been getting from CNN as a media network is nothing but constant division, constant smearing. And their day is coming. Their day of reckoning will happen. When it will happen? Well, there's a countdown happening, but I wanted to play those two clips back to back because it sets a tone of how CNN speaks to not only differing opinions, but also how they talk down to people as well. That's the news organization. Remove it. 
it's lost its purpose because it has no purpose.